Here we go guys, we're out on Lake Superior doing a little beach mining today. I got about five or ten buckets run through. Not a lot of black sand in this spot, but the waves are a little big to go in my normal spot. So I've just been digging along here and there where we find some. So one more bucket to go. This is my setup. I got my gold cube on the top. And it runs down into my homemade sluice. I got a little crash box in there, a little rubber damper. Keep the flow nice, reverse riffle. And then it comes down into my recirculator. Kind of feed in some more of this stuff. Show you guys how we do it here in Wisconsin. Water's too dirty to see if I got any gold going on or not, but I couldn't even start with clean water because it's been so uh, stormy up here. The water's just brown. You can see it's blue way out on the outer edge, but with all these rivers flowing in here, she gets pretty brown. Here's another shot of the crash box in action. There's a uh, mesh and miner's moss in the bottom there and uh, yeah that way if the cube misses any it'll catch it in there and otherwise if that don't catch it I guess it'll catch it down there at the uh, Washington beach mining sawtooth mats in the bottom and then the gold cube just has its regular uh, the original vortex mats which are a pain in the butt to clean up but Oh no, it works pretty good. We catch some gold. We'll be back after uh, I'm ready for a cleanup, I think. Have this bucket almost gone. Forgot to turn my camera on doing this cleanup, but we got two trays cleaned off so far. But uh, just look at all these little garnets in here. This is the bottom tray. I did see a few pieces of gold up in the upper part. But yeah, we'll get her cleaned up, take it home, and run it through our cleanup sluice that we got from Infinity Prospecting and see how we did for the day. Just want to give you guys a little close up view of my crash box that I was telling you about. Right up under here, look at how that reverse lit ripple I made traps that black sand. Just some aluminum from Menards. Just in case I do ever find a Wisconsin nugget, which probably won't happen, but it might. Um, I'm prepared. I should get caught right in there. Well, I got some miner's moss underneath of there. If you take a look, you can see it a little bit, and boy, is it ever packed full of black sand in there. So I'm re-putting this crash box back together in the sluice. And uh, so here's the flipper. The first thing that goes down is this uh, tough stuff, deep groove mat. And then I put in my miner's moss. Like so. And then we take this uh, piece of perforated, oops, sorry, covering up the camera. Perforated steel. That goes in next. Then I take this uh, piece of angled aluminum and that goes underneath of the miner's moss. Which I got it pretty close. No, I don't. I gotta pull the miner's moss forward a little bit. Get the holes all to line up. And then this is, uh, well, it's part of a door, but. I thought it'd make a cool reverse riffle. And then we uh, drop the screw back down in there. Put the wing nut on and it's all ready for next time. All right, we made her home with all the concentrates. Look at that black sand. I'm just gonna run it through my kitchen strainer there and then we'll run it through my cleanup sluice from Infinity Prospecting. All right, so here we go. This is, uh, I'll do this the right way. This is smaller than kitchen strainer. 
the small kitchen strainer and this is bigger than the small kitchen strainer and then this one is bigger than the big kitchen strainer. I think I got that right but maybe not. We'll go through these and see if there's any gold. I don't think there will be in the two bigger ones but we'll see. Alright so I panned out all the big stuff and uh, I'm gonna have to get my microscope out for this one. I got a couple pieces in here that look like they might be big gold but it's Kind of hard to tell, especially that one that keeps floating, it's super thin. But we'll look at it under the microscope and see what the heck it is. Oh no, we're not making malts, we're uh, cleaning up the gold concentrates from the beach today. <laughs> don't mind the mess, hopefully my wife don't either. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I got this little speed controller thing. It's not the Washington beach mining one, but I found something that works. It's got a cool little output gauge on there. I'm going to 3D print a little box to put it all in there so I can adjust the speed on this. Hook her up to the battery and here we go. I got to get the air bubbles out. We'll run some material through it. All right, so here we go. First spoon going in. Hopefully this lighting's okay. I don't have a professional setup or anything like that. They say to keep these uh, little vortexes about half full or so. So we'll get some of this going. Hopefully that ain't too much. It really burns through that stuff quick. I really like this thing. Yeah, here we go. Wife spoon compliments to the house, I guess. Well, I'll turn this thing back on if I start seeing some gold showing up. It's really neat watching all these riffles process this material here. Right now they're uh, ready for a scoop. Watches and blonde sands just pour right out of there. Look at that. That quick, and that's real time. I didn't speed up the camera or anything like that. This thing is really impressive. Pretty cool. Well, guys, it's not looking so good. It probably won't even show up on the camera, but I've only seen about three pieces of gold. So I'm guessing trying this new spot because it was too wavy probably wasn't a good idea. Um, yeah, I'll still pan through this stuff in case there's any in there. But I really don't see a whole lot sitting anywhere. Well, turn down the speed for a second. I see a few shiny spots here and there, but who knows. It's not looking too good, that's for sure. But we don't uh, prospect in the Midwest to make lots of money or anything like that. There's one little piece of gold there right in the center of the screen. We do it to have a good time and enjoy the outdoors. So I guess next time I'll be back at my other spot. Well, here's the results. Just a few tiny pieces. But, I guess it's better than nothing. And I had a good time doing it. Thanks for watching.